Please be joined by Catherine McMaster. Lots to talk about with Eastern Shore Burger Week. But first thing, Catherine, just tell me a little bit about you, uh, what you do, and then tell me about Eastern Shore Burger Week, how it came to be. All right. Well, I'm Catherine. I actually own Small Town Marketing Solutions, where I help small business owners maintain and elevate their online presence through social media and web design. Um, I was approached by uh, my partners in all of this, um, Jeff and Lucy Quigley from Quigley Creative. Um, and we met around a, uh, a table at the old number seven pub. And we had a discussion about how we can bring a spotlight to the local businesses and uh, eateries on the Eastern Shore. Um, we, we know that the Halifax Burger Week does so well for all of the, the restaurants in Halifax. So we figured we, we need to bring that type of spotlight to the Eastern Shore. Um, and at the same time, raising funds for local food banks um, so that we can help our food banks restock their shelves as well as they are in a, uh, in a time of need. Tell me about Eastern Shore Burger Week. How can people find out about it? How long does it go and where can they go to find different burgers? So Eastern Shore Burger Fest, it starts today, June 15th, and it runs until June 23rd. So next Sunday, um, there's 17 different participating restaurants. You can find them all. We've got a Facebook page, an Instagram page, as well as a website. Um, you can find all of the information on our website. That's the best place to go. We've got a Google Maps link where you can find the addresses of all of the participating restaurants. We've got restaurants starting from um, Andy's Chicken Scoop is the very first one in Porter's Lake. And it goes all the way down to the end of Sheet Harbor with the Slippery Oyster. Um, so there's 17 different restaurants and eateries between between those two radiuses and uh I invite you all to come out and try them all. Lots of different burgers, lots of different options. But for you, Catherine, has there been one that's kind of caught your eye and attention that you want to go and try? And why do you want to try it? Oh, they all they all absolutely look super delicious. Um, I am a big sweets person. I do love a good sweet. Uh, Martinique Desserteries, uh, their Neapolitan burger which is like a donut and a brownie with buttercream lettuce and uh, a strawberry sauce. I hope I'm not butchering that. Um, it looks absolutely delicious. Um, that's definitely one on my list to try. Uh, the Andy's Chicken Scoop, uh, their chicken burger, it looks massive. It's definitely one that I'm going to have to get to share. Uh, but it's uh, a chicken burger with mac and cheese on it. Um, and then the Rocky Balboa, I think from the number seven, those would be my top three that are on my list that I personally want to try. You talked about the reasons behind this, but this is the first year for the Eastern Shore Burger Fest. Where do you hope it goes from here? I really do hope it turns into an annual event. I would love to see even more restaurants join next year. Um, we... The restaurants, um, a few of the restaurants that weren't able to participate this year have already told us, please, please keep us informed. We're in it next year. Uh, so it's I'm really hoping that year after year it can just get bigger and bigger with more restaurants. Um, maybe we can even expand it um, a little bit further uh, east and, and get some more people in there. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it gets bigger. <laughs> Well, Catherine McMaster, we appreciate you taking the time to do this. We encourage people to check out the Eastern Shore Burger Fest uh, online, on social media, and head out over the next few days and check out some of those burgers, right? Come on, give us your best sales pitch. Get people to come out. <laughs> come on out. there! It's awesome. There's so many different types of burgers. It doesn't matter if you like chicken or fish or pork. There's a burger out there for everybody, um, and at least a dollar from every burger sold is going towards a local food bank. So it's all for a good cause. So come on out, join us in the fun, and I uh, hope to see you all there. Well, I think that's the most important thing. It's a great event. It creates some great uh, local community engagement, but it's for a really good cause. Catherine, thanks for doing this. We wish you lots of luck with the first year of the Eastern Shore Burger Fest, and I'm sure we'll have uh, subsequent years. But for now... Thanks for doing this, and uh, I can't wait to try some of those burgers. Amazing. Me neither. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.